Okay, this motherfucking record light is on. Alright guys, well let's do this again. Fortunately, I hadn't gotten far uh, for this motherfucking camera battery, whatever the fucking bullshit. Like every, uh, you know, anyway. Uh, where were we? Uh, let's just start all over. So, uh, it is now two o'clock in the afternoon after dealing with this fucking camera. Two o'clock in the afternoon on this goddamn, uh, getting darker, gloomier, nastier, drizzlier, grayer, slit your wrist if you have the fucking balls to kind of day here in the uh, here in the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, where we have made it to Tuesday afternoon at 2 o'clock that would be Tuesday September 24, 2024 so I am in my third day of uh, my golden years and my fifth day down here and uh, anyone who has ever been down here knows exactly what the fuck uh, I am I am talking about and uh, so anyway guys I was gonna do this rant this I mean this wine I'm sorry this, this is a wine not a rant I was gonna do this wine you know after I got liquored up again tonight and got two or three stiff drinks in me and don't worry this is not tequila at two o'clock in the afternoon this is water but uh you know i decided i i, I want to run this one straight fucking sober straight sober so there's no alcohol fog uh, uh, uh affecting what what i'm saying here because I want to get a cross-section of videos. If people are wondering, like, Hammond, who the fuck are you making these toxic-ass videos for? Well, there's several answers to that question, but mainly, no shit, Sherlock, I'm making these videos for me. Uh, because I want to, you, you, you know, once my brain chemistry... Uh, shifts again, whether it be in two days or two months from now, and I, in my mania, starts to return and balance out. You know, I am bipolar, is what I, uh, I, I am a, what do they call it, a sufferer, a victim uh, of bipolar disorder. So once I come out of this whole I want to go back and play these videos to hear what I sounded like uh, when I, I was stone sober, uh, looking at my life, when I was drunk, uh, looking at my life. And so, of course, uh, it's all about me. Uh, imagine that, Hambone Little Tail making a series of videos about Hambone Little Tail. Uh, but I'm also sending uh, the, the, this video, I'm assuming for the, I don't know, couple of dozen people on this planet uh, tuning into this video, you, you're, you fall into one of three camps. Okay, you understand, dude or darling, exactly what the fuck I'm talking about in these videos. Exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, so you guys can just sit back and, and, and nod like a dashboard chihuahua as I go along. And then the vast majority of people listening to this video or others I recorded recently have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. No, They're completely clueless about anything I'm saying, what they're hearing is either some negative old man 
uh, some negative old man spreading his negativity around, trying to harsh your mellow, or I'm some spoiled brat a uh, little kid uh, having a pity party with myself and looking for sympathy from uh, from people listening to those videos. And if, if, if you're in that camp, which statistically you are, you, you're, you're, you're so fucking clueless. You, you know, go back to your fucking cute cat videos and your and your fucking delusions uh, 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 about your uh, worthless uh, existence, worthless, pointless existence. Keep on kidding your fucking self that 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 I am some negative old man that's been here, or some little spoiled brat looking for sympathy. I guarantee fucking to you, and anybody who's ever been down here and knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about in in in, in, in these videos. Uh, well, we'll, we'll know what I'm talking about. So telling any clueless fucking moron, thinking that I'm looking for sympathy. Uh, pull your fucking head out of your ass. I don't need your fucking sympathy. Your fucking sympathy for what I am going through and what millions, if not billions, of people on this planet are going through. The last thing we give a flying fuck about, motherfucker, is your fucking sympathy. Take your fucking sympathy, g give it to the fucking children in Gaza, okay? <coughs> <coughs> But there's a third group of people, probably maybe five or six people on this planet, who do have a little bit of a clue what the fuck I'm saying in these videos. A little bit of a clue. Uh, who, have, who have stared into the edge of the abyss seen it staring back and, and, and managed to keep from going down here. Uh, and, and, and I guess I'm making these videos as much as for myself as for you folks who, uh, who, who feel this just this 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 closing, just this sense of dark oppression closing in on you and you're wondering uh, where this could be going. The, the, just this sense that you have that any day you could fucking wake up and sound like me. And uh, so I'm, I'm just trying to give you a little bit uh, of a warning of uh, what uh, you're in for. All right. Uh, of, of course, now I can officially comment this from the perspective of an old man. You know, I have been battling severe depression and bipolar. Uh, you, you know, going back, as I say, my 18th birthday is the first time I ever ended up in a psychiatrist's office on antidepressants. So my, it's pretty much been a lifetime that I have been dealing with this. Uh, but now I, 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 I can, uh, being officially in my golden years, I, I have a lifetime to look back on and uh, hopefully a very short lifetime to look forward toward. But anyway, so I'm, I'm thinking, how do I describe my life? Fully sober, uh, just taking just taking a, a completely objective look at my life 
two days after turning 65 years old in the year 2024. This is what I am. I am a lonely, depressed, bitter, old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, and stranded with no future ahead of him, sitting around waiting to die while the planet collapses around me, asking myself, how did it come to this and what the fuck are you going to do uh, for the rest of your fucking life uh, with, with that uh, self-appraisal of yourself? And that's it in a nutshell. And uh, you might be in this situation yourself. Uh, you, you might be a young person. Uh, and God, God help you if you are uh, wondering uh, what you have to look forward to. But of course, you have the, the escalating collapse of the planet, uh, you know, on top, of, on, on top of whatever this is to look forward to. Uh, you know, how did it come to this? How the fuck did it come, did, did, did it come to this? Uh, you know, 17 years ago, uh, when, when I was fully manic, uh, I, I was living a life that 98% of this fucking planet w would have traded lives with uh, by, by any values. Well, I, whose fault is it? Uh, how much of this, how did it come to this? How much of it, it, it is my fault? How much of it is society's fault? How much of it is fucking Terrence McKenna's fault? Uh, I, I expect it, it's, a, it, it's a little bit of all of the, these people's fault. You know, I, I, I can't blame my mother as I, as I told, as my mother uh, let me know, uh, I never fucking wanted you. You would never have been born if it had been up to me. Blame your fucking father. So I guess who I can ultimately blame for, for being put on this shithole planet into this pointless, worthless existence is that motherfucker. That motherfucker for raping my mother on Christmas Eve. Uh, I was conceived on Christmas Eve, so I guess that makes my father Santa Claus. Ho, 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 jokes on you, you little Christmas conception. So anyway, uh, that, that's, that's what I am. Uh, how... How did it come to this? Uh, it, it, it makes no fucking difference how it came to this. Whether it's my fault, Terrence McKenna's fault, or Santa Claus's fault on Christmas Eve 1958. Whoever the, uh, whoever the fuck's fault it is, and, and, and I will take certainly a, a, as much of the blame as I'm going to give fucking Santa Claus for the, sh for the fucking position I'm in right now. It, it, it makes utterly no difference to the fact that I am a lonely, depressed, bitter old man with broken teeth, stranded without love, uh, or a future, 
uh, sitting around waiting for di to die while the planet collapses around me asking myself how did it come to this and what the fuck am I going to do about it which is the uh, the main question uh, obviously the simple answer is sit around and wait for your fucking brain chemistry to change and 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 some uh, I, I guess the Easter Bunny will come around and start sprinkling some fucking fairy dust uh, in, into my brain chemistry and uh, as I say be it two days or two months from now uh, I'll, I'll climb out of this fucking hole that I've been down in before, shake myself off, and, and, and just keep plugging along in, in my pointless, worthless existence. So that's probably how it's going to play out. If, if history is my guide. Uh, 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 otherwise, if, if, it, if it doesn't play out that way, there, there, there's two other ways uh, for, for this to play out. It's either end it or change it. And uh, neither one of those are an option. Uh, I mean, there is the end it option. Uh, the, the, the obvious option. Fucking end it, dude. Shut your fucking whining. Put yourself out of your fucking memory. Uh, you know, I mean, there's plenty of goddamn uh, people who do that every fucking day. I mean, good God, some of the most brilliant people on the fucking planet uh, have looked at their own fucking lives, came up with the same conclusion you're coming up with, and, and fucking ended it. Socrates, uh, one of the great philosophers in the history of humanity, drinking his fucking uh, hemlock cocktail, uh, Ernest Hemingway, for God's sake, uh, Leonardo da Vinci, uh, Hunter Thompson, uh, you know, some of the biggest heroes of my fucking life, this fellow, this writer, Richard Brodigan, uh, if you've never heard of that guy, check out the works of Richard Brodigan, putting a fucking bullet through his head. I think he was right about my age. We can't forget Michael Rupert. I, was Michael Rupert, how old was Michael? Was I think Michael was 62 or 64. So I don't know if Michael even officially made it to his golden years putting a fucking bullet through his fucking head. Uh, that fucking cunt down there in Florida uh, looking at her fucking pointless, worthless life, putting a fucking bullet through her fucking head. That little, uh, that, that 17 year old girl, that, that cheerleader that you saw on America's Got Talent a few weeks ago, jumping off that fucking bridge, uh, figuring out at age fucking 17 what to fucking do about it. Uh, but, but the reason I've never done it is because I'm too much of a fucking chicken shit. I'm too much of a fucking coward uh, to take the obvious step. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, anybody who has ever contemplated suicide uh, and chickened out know, knows exactly what I'm talking about. I, I want to talk to these clueless fucking morons talking about people who commit suicide are cowards. I heard this shit uh, on, on, on some shit I was listening to last night. Uh, about suicide, that the, these people, I assume, who have never been suicidal, uh, like, I, like I am right now, who have never been suicidal, calling uh, people who commit suicide cowards, obviously, you've never been fucking suicidal, you clueless fucking moron. Okay.
Now, I do admit living like this, uh, my, that, that, that living, I, I, I am more terrified of living than I am dying, and, and, and I'm sure as shit uh, more terrified uh, of being reincarnated onto this fucking planet uh, th than I am living or dying. But 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 even though my three uh, my my two biggest fears in life are living and an afterlife, uh, with the fear of death, the fear of death. Uh, has nothing to do with me n not killing myself. I I'm just too much of a fucking chicken shit to do what that 17-year-old girl had the fucking balls to do. It it it's just it it's just one more reason uh, to loathe myself but because I I I'm uh, too much of a chicken shit uh, to end it. I, I have nothing uh, but hats off, respect, and admiration uh, for anybody who's had the fucking balls uh, to fucking stick a gun in their mouth, blow their fucking brains out, uh, take the goddamn uh, whatever. Uh, the, the fucking brew, what in Marilyn Monroe, uh, the, the fucking sleeping pills uh, after, uh, you know, uh, America's biggest sex symbol, uh, looking at her fucking life uh, at, at the top of the, the fucking world. Uh, I, I guess Elvis didn't exactly commit suicide, but, but you know, on one level, Elvis Presley uh, did fucking commit suicide. Uh, Elvis and uh, Michael Jackson and, uh, and, and, and that whole gang, you, you know what I'm talking about. So cut the crap. Uh, about people committing suicide, being chicken shits. It takes fucking balls the, the, the size of fucking cantaloupes to do it. I don't have balls the size of fucking cantaloupes. Although I do have, as I say, this, this weird thing growing on one of my balls, which I'm hoping the hell is testicular cancer. Uh, so, if ending it is not an option for me or for anybody else uh, who would, uh, would, uh, would rather uh, not be alive than be alive, then, then, then of course there's changing it. And uh, good fucking God at age 65, changing my life. You know, I, I, I know goddamn well that till the day I die, I am never going to experience the touch of a woman again till the day I die. There is no way for me to change the fact that till the day I die, well, w w without paying for a fucking hooker. So, uh, I, y y you know, I know the guys exactly who are going to email me and, and say, Hambone, whenever you want to feel uh, the fucking touch of a woman, you can feel the touch of a woman probably for 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't count. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. There is a, uh, uh, there is no way that I am ever going to, to meet a woman uh, uh, again until the day I die. It is a fucking fantasy. It ain't gonna happen. So, there's so, uh, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting advice uh, from uh, at least one person well, uh, Hambone, if, if your problem is social isolation, 
that what you can do. Okay, I, I do probably have the option at age 65 to change my uh, my social isolation status, you know, in the birthday book, the health advice for September 22nd babies is beware the depressive effects of isolation. So I could sell this place. I could fucking sell this place, I could sell Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, cash it in, take the fucking money, and, uh, and, and head back to a tech, to Texas somewhere, uh, in, in, uh, well, not the, to, right to Austin, but somewhere in some little small town uh, with, within an hour or two of Austin, Texas, and, uh, and, 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 and buy another little shack uh, on the side of the road, probably not with 14 acres of beautiful grounds associated, but I could make it happen in my life where I could get back to the uh, the the social uh, or or at least some shadow uh, of getting back into my tribe of uh, whatever of my clueless lovable friends that are still left in Austin that have not died of cancer since I left, which is good God. How many of my friends uh, in, in Austin, uh, Texas, ha have died of cancer since I pulled out of there in 2008? So I do have that option. The 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 very thought of where I would find the fucking energy that it would take to uh, put bugs in a jar farm up for sale and, and, and go through that and, and that has no chance of happening minimally till next spring and what I have to look forward to in the six months between now and then it, it is living in a what is it now Aaron a 44 year old single wide trailer at the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Donellan, Florida, one of the trump tarred capitals of the world. Uh, I have no fucking clue what I'm going to do for six months of my fucking life uh, in, in Doomsday Trailer other than sitting around waiting to die, getting fucking drunk every night, and uh, at least uh, having my, uh, my cup of coffee in the morning and my kickoff margarita down there at the dock uh, on the banks of the Withlacoochee River uh, visiting my clueless fucking moron Trump tarred neighbors. That will be the extent of my social life uh, for six fucking months. It, it, it is hanging around a, a, a bunch of fucking Trump tards, half of them living in riverfront mansions, the other half uh, living in beat up old trailers. I am 
completely, utterly fucked. Absolute bare minimum for the next nine months. Absolute bare minimum. I am completely, utterly fucked. And I see nothing else to do about it except sit around waiting to die and, and getting fucking drunk every night to blunt a little bit of the pain. It will change nothing. Anyway, I guess we will make that, what is this, chapter 5 of the, uh, of the Hambone implosion story. So for any clueless fucking moron who has zero clue about anything that I have just said, uh, I, I guess I'm jealous of you, you clueless fucking moron. So leave your fucking comment that uh, you are a, a negative old man uh, who gets his rocks off by making everyone you come in contact with want to be as miserable as you are, or that you're a little spoiled brat, white privileged little uh, white boy, uh, spoiled brat, uh, having a pity party, leave your fucking clueless comment, and I will just go and, uh, and, and ban you from this channel forever, and, and you can go back to your fucking cute cat videos. You will not be missed. And with that, since I have not had one bite of food in my uh, system in 18 hours since the last bite of food I had, I guess I will go out there and uh, raid what's left of my quickly rotting tomato patch and uh, enjoy a BLT while I still can. Maybe I will come back tonight after I get drunk with another funny little ham bone story probably involving some beautiful young woman uh, who's now a fat, ugly old bag. My guys. Yes, little dog, did you survive that?